Willie, firstly, thank you so much for taking the time to come and see us at Ibrox today. Rangers against Real Madrid. Firstly, what does that fixture mean to you? It was a wonderful time in my life at, with the Glasgow Rangers. And uh, the fact that we're drawn against Real Madrid, who were the, were the team, was uh, a wonderful moment in my life. Um, I always think about it. That was such a huge time. They were such a, a big name at the time. Can you remember anything of the build-up to the game, how you guys were preparing, what you were expecting from the game? Well, I, I'd really just turned 19 and quite young, relatively. I'd been playing in the team for a couple of years. And um, the moment that we were drawn out of the hat with Real Madrid, I mean, right away I went, Real Madrid, you know, Canario, Del Sol, Di Stefano, Puskas, Hento, all the names, Santa Maria, the, the centre half, all the names. And I'm going to be playing against them at Ibrook Stadium, Glasgow Rangers pitch. Wonderful, wonderful, great excitement it was. Such a big name. At the time, a lot of the fans would have remembered them from the, the Eintracht Frankfurt game a couple of years before at Hamden. Now, what do you think the, the mood was among Rangers players and the fans? Did you think you could, you could beat them in, on that occasion? Were they, or what sort of challenge were you expecting from them? Well, I think, you know, the fans, the, the, the fans would, would always want to see the best. And all of a sudden, they're going to get this opportunity um, after what Real Madrid did to Eintracht. They're going to beat their stadium. So I'm sure they were just as 90,000 people is a big crowd, you know. I'm sure they were as excited as we were and really looking forward to it. And we had a good team. We were playing well and we were really up for it. You mentioned some of the names that you came up against them, starting with Puskas. What, what about him? How good was he you know, back in the day? Well, you know, I, I had heard so much about Puskas and I remember standing in the tunnel just before we got onto the park. And, you know, Puskas was one of these guys, he looked a little bit overweight and I'm going, is he as good as that? And then all of a sudden we're on the pitch. Um, it's the 86th minute. We well, did great against the team. Uh, world famous team. We're only four minutes to go. And all of a sudden this wee guy that I thought was a wee bit overweight stuck the ball in the back of the net and the beaters won nothing. And well, um, the rest history. We went to, we, for, we went further uh, to the Bernabeu Stadium and we were really excited about playing there. We'd only got beat one nothing at Ibrox. And I'm going, if we just play it nice and tight for the first 20 minutes and let us get settled, etc. And the players, all the players agreed that and we were looking forward to it. And all of a sudden, the 90 minutes is finished. We're sitting in the dressing room and we've been beat 6 nine. Thrashed. Different planet. Can you remember, even for the first leg, like, tactically, what was, what was said before the game and, and how Rangers were going to approach the game, first of being, being the home team here at Ibrox? Well, you know, at that, at, at that time, at that time in football, it was really early doors. And um, obviously, you, you didn't want to give Puskas, it was discussed, you didn't want to give Puskas too much space, you didn't want to give Di Stefano too much space. Um, and of course, they had, they had a, a, a number of 11 called Francisco Hento, who was a flying machine, was a flying machine. I mean, I played really well that night, I must be honest. I played really well. Um, I, I was flying myself. I passed three pigeons as I was going down the wing across it across. That's how quick I was at, at that time. Um, so, we did well here. We did well here, there is no question. But the game in the, the Bernabeu was a different planet. Yeah, having lost the first game 1-0, was there still a belief? Yeah, hope. Yeah, there was hope, there was a belief. We just, as I said, we just had to play it a bit tighter. But 
Puska scored three that night, I think. And we just saw a team that was in a different class from us. And many teams in the world, not just us. As a 19-year-old a at the time, was that a, a big learning experience for you, taking on a team of that, that calibre and players like that? Yeah, I think, it, I think at that time, you, you, you know, you need to have the confidence to realise how good you are. You need to have that. But I remember, especially in the Bernabeu, especially in the Bernabeu, coming off and saying, ah, you have a bit to go yet, Willie. Yeah, and was that true for the club as well? Because domestically done well, obviously played Fiorentina in the Cup Winners Cup final a couple of years before, but did that just maybe show the club a bit more to go as well? Absolutely, absolutely. But, you know, at that time in football, it was mainly, it was mainly people um, in Scotland, that, you know, that, 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 that was playing for our club. And, you know, the Real Madrid had, had, had players for, for, for different parts of the world. You know, Di Stefano from, you know, was, was for a different part of the world. Puskas was for Hungary. So they were a bit ahead. They were a bit ahead on building teams. So to be fair to Rangers, um, we had a really good team, but a few steps down the ladder for the likes of Real Madrid. Against these teams, you realise that um, we were a bit behind. Not just Rangers, not just Rangers. Scottish football at that time was a bit behind. We've said this one so many times before, but going out here at Ibrox, that huge crowd, that you mentioned earlier on, you know, 80, 90,000 here. What's that like to play in front of when it's just so packed and there's all the excitement's there? I think the fact that you're, you're young um, helps you get through it. You don't really, I never really had a fear once I was on that park. And I had bags of confidence, you know, I had bags of confidence, which, which was a good help. And, and I really needed it. And you need it, you know, when you're, you're playing with the likes of the Baxters and things like that, who was ultra confident. So that was always a help. That was always a help. Did that confidence, although not in the result, but did that confidence help you going to the Bernabeu? Another 90,000 there? The, the way we played here, the way we played here, we still thought we had a bit of a chance. So your confidence was high. Your confidence was high. If it only get beat one nothing with such a, a world-class team, the confidence was still high. But... Um, 20 minutes into the game, you went, oh, we are up against it here. They were a different class. They were a different class. What was your feeling this year when you heard that Rangers would be meeting Real Madrid once again? Well, obviously all the memories come back. All the memories come back. And to, 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 to be able to come along and see that team, you know, um, yeah, wonderful. Wonderful. And they're such a... That's such a worldwide name and throughout the years been one of the greatest teams in the world. And it's always great to have teams like that here. it will be a good test for the club. Marks, marks as well, the 150th anniversary of the club. Tell us just through all your years here, even still involved in the, the, the match days now, what this club means to you? Well, I think... When I think of the years that's been in my life, it's, um, it means everything to me. And, and it was wonderful to, to get invited back and be here on match days and talking to the fans and, you know, um, passing on some of the, the memories that, he, that, that you ask about. It's been absolutely great for myself and some of the rest of the, the players that were here to be able to still be involved with such a wonderful club. I mean, I mean, there's been there's been times where th things has went uh, just not the way that, that, that we wanted them, but uh, the last while and um, certainly this year's been a great year for the club. Stephen Gerrard's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, the club's going well, and I think the supporters deserve that because they've been very, very loyal through all the tough times. We're on a good road, and long may it continue.